Hey folks, this is John Oaks. We are here once again at Hankster's Hot Rods here in our photo studio so that we can once again go over another new addition uh, to our inventory here with you folks out there on uh, whether it's YouTube or viewing it through our website or one of our other uh, sites we advertise on. So the car we're going to go over obviously today is going to be the one that you see sitting here right behind me. This is a 1970 Chevrolet Nova. Now, just to give you a brief rundown of the car before we start our walk around on it, um, we do in fact have the factory correct color here. This is the cranberry red, uh, and then it does have the black, uh, like the rally stripes uh, up over top of the hood, and of course, on the rear trunk lid as well. Um, those are in fact painted on, uh, and they look great uh, on this car, so no issues there. Uh, as far as the drive line goes on this vehicle, we've got a period correct, 396 big block Chevrolet motor inside this car. So you're gonna have lots of torque with that motor. Um, behind that, we've got the turbo 400 automatic transmission. So that's gonna be a good stout transmission for that motor. And then of course, for the rear end, we have a GM rear end. It is a 12 bolt posi unit and it's a 350 gear in it. As far as steering and brakes, we do have manual steering. However, it steers very easy. Of course, with any non-power steering car, um, when you're just sitting still, it's gonna be a little difficult to turn, but once you're moving, turns very, very easy with the gearing that's in the gearbox. Um, it also is a power brake car. It's disc brakes up front and then drums out on the rear. And then of course, wheel and tire combination. We've got the Kreger SS Chrome steel wheels front and rear. However, they elected to go with 14 inch wheels on the front, 15s out on the back, and then the ever so popular BF Goodrich radial TA tire front and rear. So you've got matching tread patterns. Um, the sizes though on the front, uh, I believe these were two 15s on the front and then on the back were two 45, 60 uh, 15s on the back there. Uh, but again, the tread pattern and everything about the tires, they are all in great shape. So again, starting kind of here at the front, uh, of course, we'll go over the bumpers and so forth once we get to those. But we do have the 396 badging on the front fenders, uh, the turn signal bezels or side marker bezels, I should say. Those are in great shape. The lens is in great shape too with no cracks anywhere on those. Our car here is void of any wheel lip moldings on the car. So they've kind of taken those off and gave it just a real nice clean look here as far as that goes. And then we come back, of course, we've got the Nova script badging here on the front fender as well. Got those, uh, whatever you want to call them here, kind of those scoops uh, on the front fender there as well. And those all look good too. The door, of course, we always go over the gaps on the door, the elevations and all of that. So your gaps are actually really nice and tight on this 70 Nova. Uh, the elevations are dead on. So again, you've got no variance uh, going from the quarter panel to the door and likewise with the door to the front fender. Uh, we've got the chrome door handles, which are in great shape. There's no pitting there. And then you've got both driver's side and passenger side, the round mirrors here. The chrome on those is in great shape. The glass is in great condition too. No chips or cracks anywhere there. Now, as far as any kind of trim work up around our doors here and windows, uh, well, as you can see, it does in fact have the drip rail moldings, but they have been color matched to the car. So that cranberry red uh, gives it a nice clean look up along the drip rail here. And then as far as those rain gutters go, I always like to feel through those make sure they're nice and smooth and in fact they are uh, paint all the way around on this car as you'll notice when we walk around nice and smooth nice and shiny all the way around paint looks really really good uh, also as far as our driver's side glass here um, so you've got your vent window your door glass and your quarter window all of which are in great shape. And again, all of your trim work around those windows has been color matched to the car. So we'll go ahead and open our door up 
take a look at our interior here for the first time. So of course we've got the all black interior. It does have a little bit of the wood grain trim there on our doors and our uh, rear uh, panels there in the sides there. Uh, it's got the bucket seats up front with the headrest. You've got all the seat belts on this car. You've got the retractable lap belts up front. You've got lap belts in the back seat, and you also have the shoulder belts that are uh, anchored up above there on your headliner like they did it back in the old days. So all your clips and so forth, those are all there, and that's uh, you've got your uh, belt storage there. Uh, the dash, factory dash, factory instrumentation, um, all of that all looks very good. You've got the factory SS style steering wheel on the car as well. If you look down below you've got the uh, the partial center console down there does have the automatic floor shifter for the turbo 400 transmission you also notice it has the uh, those gauges down there on your center console so again gauges like your fuel fuel gauge uh, the voltmeter uh, oil pressure and water temperature um, so all of that looks to be in good shape door panels all look good too again like i mentioned you've got the wood grain trim here uh, with the nova right in the center on both sides so that all looks good the door panels are anchored good and secure and again the armrest pads up here too no rips or tears in those uh, armrest pads those all look good also uh, the other thing obviously is we always check out all of our weather stripping and our seals up around the door frames here as well as the weather stripping here all the way around on our door here again that is all in great shape there's no rips or tears no splits in the rubber again it's all nice and soft good and secure to the door to the door edge there again it's going to seal up nice it even has the rubber bump stops on the door there for you as well so we'll close this up Again, that shuts nice and easy. Again, that just shows how well it's everything's adjusted there on the car. We've already been over wheels and tires and so forth on the car. Quarter panel is nice and straight on the car as well. Again, our side marker light bezels and lenses are all in good shape here. The rear window, no chips or cracks in the rear window. We've got uh, the bright work, the molding all the way around. Again, you can see it is in great shape, all anchored good and secure and it's all polished up very nice for you. As far as the rear trunk lid goes, well, that's all pretty nice too. Uh, again, all of your gaps all the way around, pretty uniform here. So the trunk fitment on the car looks good. Even your elevations here with your quarter panels all look very good. Uh, we have the Nova script emblem back here on the trunk lid. We also have the SS badging here on the tail panel with the rest of that cladding back here. Uh, your tail light bezels as well as taillight lenses all look to be in good shape. Um, no real signs of any pitting around the bezels and again no cracks or chips in any of your lenses. The actual bumpers, the chrome finish on those is in great shape. There's no pitting at all on those, no dents or dings in the bumper. They are all nice and straight, polished very well and again there's no cracks or anything in the chrome finish. Those look very good. So we'll go ahead, grab our key, and we're going to go inside the trunk now so we can take a look at that. Look at our trunk floor, all of that stuff. Trunk weather stripping even as well. So again, inside the trunk with our uh, lid open, we've got the nice cranberry red paint on the uh, inside of the trunk lid there. That all looks good. The trunk hinges uh, and spring all doing what they should be doing and that is assisting on the way up and holding it up once it's up. Uh, as far as the weather stripping all the way around here, this is in great condition. They have it meeting together right in the center here. All of your rain gutters or water channels back here, those are all straight, good and solid the whole way around the car here and again that's going to keep that water out of the trunk it's going to direct it right out the back of the car whether from washing or from the outside elements either way you won't worry about getting any kind of water inside the uh, trunk here as far as the trunk floor goes all good and solid uh, I do not see any patching at all 
in the trunk here as far as the floor goes. All the drain plugs are all installed as they should be. Um, and it's done with the black and the aqua trunk spatter paint there. So again, that is the trunk. Nothing too flashy, nothing really to go over in there. Just good condition of metal and so forth like that. So we'll close this up. Again, that shuts very nice and easy. And we'll continue on to the passenger side. Again, starting uh, back here and looking up across the whole side of the car, this car is super straight down both sides. Again, I talked about the door elevation and so forth on the other side. This side, I can already tell from looking from back here, everything is all in alignment here. So again, elevations are going to be dead on as far as the door goes. We come back up again, all of your drip rails, those are all painted again, same thing. All of your trim work around the windows are all done body color. Same thing over here with your passenger side glass. It's all in great shape. There's no chips or cracks anywhere on that. Your chrome finish on your passenger side mirror as well as on your door handle. Again, in excellent condition. Nice tight gaps here with your door. And again, like I said, elevations all are good here. Body lines that you have, those are all aligned properly. So everything looks good as far as that door goes. Goes. Now we'll go ahead, check out the interior now from the passenger side. That way you get to see it from all angles here. Again, the uh, black interior, the seat upholstery is in great shape. No rips or tears there. No rips, tears, or fading of the carpeting. Um, also with the interior, it does have an aftermarket radio in it. Uh, it's a Sanyo IntelliTuner, um, and it's an AM FM cassette player, and they do have a set of pine near six by nine speakers in the rear package tray. Uh, passenger side door panel, all anchored securely. All of your wood grain trim and your bright work all looks to be pretty good. Um, armrest pads and so forth, all kind of the same as the other side there. And again, all of your weather stripping and your seals all the way around your door, including the rubber bump stops, all in great shape. That door shuts easy too. Now we'll come around, you've got the matching Nova script here on the uh, passenger side front fender. Same thing with the 396 emblem. And that brings us around to the front of the car. Now again, this is a 1970 Nova. So this would be, you know, the proper grill, headlight assembly, everything like that for the car. The chrome front bumper, again, no pitting, no cracks, no dents or dings anywhere at all on that bumper. The actual grill itself is all intact. There's no, no sections of it that are broke, no, no cracks or anything there. The SS badging right in the center. And of course your marker or your uh, parking lights, the lenses, those are in great shape too. No chips or cracks there. Glass lenses on our headlights there. Just your typical sealed beam headlight, high and low, all contained right here in one unit. The glass lenses, no chips or cracks there. As far as our hood goes, this is an SS style hood. Um, all of your bright work, your trim along the leading edge here of the hood, that all looks good, nice and straight, polished up. Again, it does have the hood pins. Uh, you've got the black stripes, like I said, even the louvers up here for that SS style hood. The cowl area back here all looks good also. Nice gaps all the way around on your hood. The windshield itself, there's no chips or cracks. Again, you do not see an antenna on this car, uh, basically because you've got the antenna that's installed inside of the windshield there. So again, that kind of eliminates the need for your antenna out here, just kind of cleans things up a little bit. Wiper arms as well as blades are all in good condition. And the same thing with all your trim work around that windshield. That is all in nice shape too on this car. So we'll go ahead now. I'm gonna remove the hood pins. And then we're gonna go ahead and open our hood up and we can kind of go over the, uh, the motor and the rest of the drive line here. 
So with the hood up, again, what you just saw there was, yes, you do have the hood pins, but you also have your traditional hood latch here also, which is all functional and it's all hooked up properly here. So again, your hood hinges and springs, those are all in great shape. Again, they're doing what they should be doing. The underside of this hood, no modifications have been done to it. Nothing has been cut. So again, a good solid steel hood for this particular car. All black uh, engine compartment here and now we get to the motor so we can talk about this a little bit so again as I mentioned earlier it's a period correct 396 cubic inch big block motor uh, and we'll just start at the top here as you can see we've got the chrome air filter lid as well as the base underneath that we have a Holly 850 CFM double pumper carb and it's got the Edelbrock performer 2.0 aluminum in take. Um, that's pretty much your air and fuel delivery section of the car. Uh, as far as the rest of the bright work you see here, you've got a nice set of chrome big block valve covers here with the Edelbrock chrome breathers so that everything vents properly. Uh, and then as far as the ignition system goes, pretty much a stock ignition system, stock point style ignition. So you've got a stock style distributor with a stock style coil. Um, it does have upgraded plug wires on it though they are in fact a set of excel super stock eight millimeter plug wire so a little bit bigger wire to help deliver that spark uh, to the plugs there a little bit better um, it does have the uh, boots on each of the spark plugs there uh, to help keep that heat away from those plug wires when they get close to those headers speaking of the headers and the exhaust system we've got a set of inch and three quarter uh, their long tube headers uh, a full three inch exhaust all the way back to a set of super turbo mufflers uh, and then it does in fact have uh, tailpipes as well tailpipes have been downsized on it a little bit to a two and a half inch tailpipe but again it still delivers a real nice deep throaty sound there for the car as I mentioned earlier, it does not have power steering, it's manual steering, but it is power brakes and it is disc brakes up front, uh, drums out on the back, and that is all complete with your emergency brake all hooked up and functional as well. Chrome alternator, chrome alternator bracket, you've got the chrome topper here on your radiator, which is just a stock style radiator, a full shroud here with a mechanical fan behind the radiator and it does have a, one, a single 14 inch uh, electric pusher fan also. So I know a lot of times they do this, uh, like with the big blocks, they'll add an extra fan because you know big blocks are known for running a little warm. Um, this is gonna definitely help solve that problem there too. Not only are you going to be forcing air through the radiator, you're going to be pulling it through also with that mechanical fan. Uh, all your heater lines, all all of your radiator hoses are all good and secure hose clamps are all good and there are no leaks or drips anywhere underneath this hood now behind the motor as I mentioned turbo 400 automatic transmission so it's a good stout transmission um, behind this big block motor and then of course that GM 12 bolt rear end again a good strong rear end housing there um, and differential it's got the posi unit in it with the 350 gear so that's pretty much your car that's our walk around on it now um, if you're not on our website uh, I always recommend you go there because again you're gonna have uh, upwards of a hundred photos of this car all the way around inside outside underneath um, just everything you could think of you're gonna be able to click on those blow them up really study the car make sure it's something that you are definitely wanting also um, accessories that maybe was up while I was walking around the car um, possibly you were thinking of well I'd like to have this added or this changed we do all kinds of installations here at Hanksters um, we just ask that you uh, reach out to us let it let us know what exactly it is you're wanting um, to have added or changed and we can gladly get your prices on parts and labor for that uh, I just a couple quick ones right off the top of my head for this car um, you could possibly do uh, power steering on it and of course 
the ever so popular air conditioning. Everybody seems to want AC in these cars so that they can uh, cruise around in them in the summertime and be comfortable too. Um, so that's pretty much it for you know accessories. Like I said, you don't have to limit it to that. Um, those are just a couple of the ones off the top of my head. Um, also on our website, you'll see uh, our retail pricing. You're, you're gonna see also that that includes uh, enclosed shipping to anywhere within the contiguous 48 states. And it also includes our Hanksters three month, 3000 mile powertrain warranty. And if you're interested in seeing exactly how that works, just hit us up again, contact us. We'll be glad to go over that process. Really simple process if you would ever need to use that. Um, and with that, we're pretty much uh, done with this section of the video. So what we're gonna do is close this all up. We're gonna get this around on our lift and then I'm gonna meet right back up with you here. We're gonna go underneath the car now, show you the underside. Hey folks, welcome back here with us back in our shop now with our 70 Nova up on the lift. So as always, we're gonna go through this car, the whole complete underside here with you folks, um, just to kind of go over what all the components are and checking the condition of everything, making sure everything's good and solid and making sure there's no leaks or drips anywhere on the car. So starting at the front here, our radiator. So again, I'm looking at the bottom of the radiator. So the whole way across here, that is all nice and dry. Uh, again, we've got the full shroud on the fan and that is all complete too. There's no uh, splits or cracks anywhere in that shroud. Um, all of your radiator hoses, drain, pet cocks and so forth are all good and secure and no leaks on that radiator. If we work our way back a little bit, of course, we've got the front cross member and of course your main cross member here. All of that is in excellent condition. And these parts are really important on these cars because this is essentially where all of your suspension starts off with as, where, as far as where it's bolted up to. Um, so again, that is all nice and straight. Doesn't look like it's ever been dinged on anything whatsoever. The front control arms or your upper and lower A arms on this car, these are gonna be your stock stamp steel components here. Um, these are all in great condition. Your shocks and springs all look to be in good shape. Uh, even like all of your mounting hardware and your shock bushings and so forth, those are all in nice shape. The ball joints on your upper and lower control arms, those have been greased and maintained and checked over and everything nice and tight on the front end. It does also have a three quarter inch front sway bar here on the car to tie those corners together. Sway bar uh, end links, as well as the frame bushings on this are all good and solid. No splits or cracks. Uh, again, nothing appears to be dry rotted. Everything is all in good shape underneath here. Uh, and then as far as the steering and the brakes go, this car is manual steering. However, we still check over all the steering components, the pitman arm, the drag link, your tie rods and your tie rod ends. Again, all of this stuff has been checked over and has made sure that everything is good to go on this car. All of your tie rod ends, as well as those ball joints, all have those little rubber dust boot covers on them too to keep the grease in, dirt and debris out of them so that everything lasts a lot longer for you. And then brakes, it is a power brake car. It is disc brakes up front, drums out on the rear of the car, uh, and it is all complete with the emergency brake all hooked up and functional too for the car. So everything's gonna be good and safe for you on this vehicle. Wheels and tires, obviously, when we did our walk around, you got to see the little better uh, view of those from the outside here. Um, again, you saw that they were the steel wheels like the Krager SS style mag wheels there. Uh, BF Goodrich radial TA tires on all four corners. Um, now the sizes, as we already kind of discussed, were a little bit different front to back. Up front, we've got a 14 inch wheel and on the back, a 15 inch wheel. And then up front, as far as our tires go, we've got a 215.70 R14. When we get to the rear, I'll go over those sizes again. I believe those are a 245. 60 15 though but we'll double check those when we get back there now if we move in towards the center of the car we can start talking uh, more about our drive line that we have here and again 
as we've already discussed, this is that 396 cubic inch. Um, it's not the numbers match motor, but it is a period correct motor for the car. Uh, we are looking at the oil pan on this car right now, making sure that our gaskets, our seals and everything are all free of any leaks. And this is nice and dry underneath here. Um, even at the drain plug and even at the back of the transmission or the oil pan for the motor. Transmission, this is the automatic um, uh, transmission here. Um, now this thing here, it's got the chrome oil pan on it, which is in good shape. Again, no leaks or drips anywhere at all around this oil pan on the transmission. So again, that is good. You've got the plastic cover here for the flywheel, uh, as well as that torque converter there to keep dirt and debris from coming up and striking that uh, for any reason. All of our transmission cooler lines coming back here, all all nice and dry also um, you've got the line for your vacuum port right here too that's all good and secure and then also on our transmissions here we've got our output shaft seal that we always check over that is all dry and of course that's where that slip yoke slides into the transmission there the back side of it there um, again that is dry you see the transmission cross member here that is in good shape as well as the transmission mount itself so everything all good and solid up here in this area of the car. The exhaust, before we get too far back there, we've got a set of long tube inch and three quarter headers here, working its way into a full three inch exhaust all the way back. Um, now it does have a set of super turbo mufflers on it, which are in great condition. We'll see a little bit better as we work our way back there. But again, full three inch exhaust till you get back here. And then I believe the tailpipes are two and a half inch on that. Um, so again, it's gonna breathe really good through the exhaust system. Should sound really good too for us when we get to go underneath the hood and fire that up for you. Far as the frame and the floors go on this car, all solid. You can see all good floor pans here on the car. I see no patching underneath here. Um, you see all of the stamping marks in this stuff so you know it's all the correct metal. All of our bracing is all present uh, underneath the car so everything looks good here. The front subframe on the car, good and square, good and solid too. Body mounts look to be in good shape here not bad uh, like I said all the emergency brake cables and so forth all present all hooked up and all functional uh, pinch welds and rockers the pinch welds down both sides of the car are super straight and those rockers are good and solid on the bottom side of this car here as we come back a little bit more we've got our drive shaft here now this is a steel drive shaft and it is balanced so it has been weighted um, so that that eliminates any kind of driveline vibration. Universals on both ends have been checked over and those are all good to go. As far as our rear differential, this is a GM 12 volt rear. This is a posi unit, 350 gear ratio. Our pinion seal is dry and the rear differential cover right here is good and dry all the way around. So everything's sealed up very nicely. As far as the rear suspension, We've got multi-leaf rear suspension along with a set of air shocks back here. And again, if you guys have watched the videos, the air shocks just make it really simple to get kind of the ride height you're looking for and the ride quality that you're looking for also just by simply putting an air hose to the fitting, airing it up to whatever um, you know setting basically that you prefer on the car. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as the rear suspension. Again, those wheels and tires, 15 inch wheels back here on the back of the car. And again, these are, I wanna say 245, 60, 15s, BF Goodrich radial TAs. So again, even though they are different sizes, the tread pattern front and rear um, are gonna be identical. And the tread on these things is in excellent shape. So no issues there get back to our fuel tank here again that is in great shape too we don't see any denser dings on the fuel tank the straps and all the mounting hardware are all good secure and solid um, the 
underside of our trunk floor here from what we can see, um, you know, aside from what's right directly above the fuel tank, everything is good and solid back here. Fuel lines, again, all nice and dry too. No leaks or drips all the way back to our fuel tank, so no issues there. Um, so that's pretty much it for the underside of our Nova. Like I said, um, we're gonna go ahead and get this down off the lift now, go underneath the hood, fire this 396 big block up so you get to hear what that motor with this exhaust all sound like. Just before we do though, again, I just always like to remind you folks um, that not only do we sell the cars, but we are an ATC trailer dealer. Um, so we have multiple models here in stock, uh, enclosed um, race trailers, enclosed car trailers. Um, so if you're in the market for one and you're interested in one that we might have here, um, go to our website one of two ways you can either get there by our car website by going to the inventory tab and clicking trailer inventory or going directly to our trailer website which is hangstershaulers.com again you'll be able to check out everything that we have pricing um, photos detailed description of each unit that we have here so if again if that's something that uh, we could help you out with we'll definitely be glad to work with you there on pricing and so forth but again you know give us a shout if that is something you're interested in right now we're going to take a minute get this off of the lift now and go underneath the hood so we can fire it up for you 